going to demonstrate to you how to find the center of a circle simply by using a compass as a drawing tool and possibly a ruler or a set square to draw straight lines with. So let's start and draw our circle. Let's get a circle there. Let's draw any size circle although the center is marked in the center at the moment when I let go of the circle there's no center marked on there so but we do have a rough idea as to where it is it's it's obviously going to be in the center and that's where it'll be so because we have a rough indication we want to find the precise point where the center of the circle is and to do this what we'll need is a compass so let's select a compass put that on our piece of paper and let's also select a drawing tool uh, that we can use which is say a ruler to draw straight lines with or uh, in this case I'm going to use a set square let's close that now I'm going to move my set square down and what I'm going to do is draw a chord a chord is a line that runs across from one point of the circumference to the other it's but not running through the center of the circle so let's draw a chord I'm going to use a blue line to draw the chord so get rid of the compass first select the blue line I'm just gonna draw the chord right the way across there now I've, I've drawn my chord now I'm just gonna move my protractor off that point let's just see here's my chord I'm just gonna move it slightly so that we can see it across the circumference there we go it may not be as accurate as your drawing but when you do this on a piece of paper but it you'll get the general idea of how this concept should be applied in finding the center of a circle now let's choose a compass and put that on the piece of paper just going to move my set square out of the way what I'm going to do is Put, try to bisect the chord that I have on my circle so what I'm going to do is create a perpendicular bisector by putting my point of the compass on one end of the chord and running the compass along that line slightly further away from the line so if I can run more than half 50% of the way across now if I just rotate my compass and mark that line across there and then rotate it again around the bottom of the cord and mark a line across there I'm trying to bisect this uh, Board. using the same distance apart don't change the compass setting just move the point of the compass onto the other end of the cord like so now let's run let's move this compass across so that it crosses and draw a line across so that it crosses the first mark that we've made and rotate it above the cord again so that it crosses the, the mark that we've made there we go I'm just going to move the compass away what we have now is a perpendicular bisector this bisects the cord in half now because our circle has a 360 degree symmetry what this tells us is when we bisect any cord in half 
the that line that we draw literally goes through the center of the circle and is known as the diameter of the circle so let's just draw that line in I'm going to draw the diameter in green so hopefully we'll get the diameter in green there it's a bit slower then there we go what we have is this diameter is at right angles to the chord and we've split the chord in half exactly in half using a perpendicular bisector now what we do here is what we've done for for the chord we take our compass again and what we do is exactly the same thing but this time apply the same principle to the diameter that we've worked out this will allow us to bisect the diameter of the circle in half and in doing so we will find the point where the center of the circle lies so let me just put that on the diameter on one end of the circle and use a marker just use a different pen a red pen for this there we go and I'm just gonna extend extend that more than 50% of the way if I can move that in a bit yes there we go what I've done is I've extended to for it to go more than 50% of the way across Let's just make a point here on this side of the circle and just move that compass around from keeping it where it where it is on that point mark a, another point across here now I'm going to move the compass leaving it exactly the same distance apart and just push put the point on the other end of that diameter oh dear Excellent, it's the same point. Let's get move the compass across, and there we go. There we go. Rotate it across, mark that there. And what will this will do is again give us a second diameter but this time what it will also do is dissect our first diameter that's in green it's bisect our first diameter that's in green and this point that will get in the middle is the point where the center of the circle lies so that let's get rid of our compass now here we go our center of the circle I'm going to mark in red here lies just there in effect so that this is how we work out the center of the circle you can see the circle is divided into exact four exact court uh, parts so that's a quarter of a circle in each section there thanks bye